Brazil, of course, taking to the field for the first time in this edition of the most prestigious festival in world football. No doubt looking for a performance to set a tone. There's his great vocal support. There are many, many who have travelled to watch them and every one of those supporters willing them to give everything back for the cause. It is beautifully set here. The Estadio José Alvalade in Lisbon, a really impressive arena, named, of course, in honour of the founder of its occupants, Sporting Lisbon. So a strong start, essential for both teams here as they look to head towards the knockout stage. Yes, and that's very apparent, Peter. Competition football is a different beast entirely, and you have to be prepared to dig deep to prevent everything going south very quickly. So this could be a, a tentative standoff in weighing each other up. I hope we'll see more probing than possession. We have already started here. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Yeah, Marquinhos. He's one of the toughest and most competitive centre-backs in the business. He's the kind of player you can rely on to always be just where you need him making a vital interception or just making life difficult for the opposition to get through. And that's a, a very valuable characteristic. Well, quite no argument for me on that one. Uh, looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. but how about the touch it just allowed him to put the ball exactly where he wanted it and the rest became a formality Algeria they have an early lead good start just to point out Peter that the fullbacks are quite high and what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. A little accusatory stare there tells the whole story. Algeria seemed to have chosen a tougher route through the middle. That was easily read and dealt with. No messing about, just bludgeoned away. That's been drilled forward. Well positioned to make that interception. Out for a throw. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Firmino. Right through the middle. Gets into some space. Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. Played out to the right. Loose ball, who's going to get that? He's going after it. And it's Douglas Costa. <laughs> Philippe Coutinho really got caught in a trap there, and he just couldn't get out. Alexandro does well there, alert. Hoists it forward. Well waited. Goalkeeper's ball. Done very well to intervene. Tries to get it forward quickly. Questions were asked. And he's given the answers. Daniel Alves. And that is as far as they're going to go. 
Out to the right. Half time getting close now. Another throw in. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Marquinhos. Ederson deals with it effortlessly. Forward it goes. The half-time whistle goes. There we are. Off they go for half-time. They should indeed come in the first half. But there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Well, they definitely won't be happy with that half. They seem to lack a bit of desire, especially going forward. It wouldn't surprise me to see a change or two. And the game has already resumed here. Brazil need to get the balance right to sort this out. Ambition must be complemented by... Just the right amount of caution, and I think the more experienced players can oversee that. Real chance! In it goes! Brazil are back in business! A moment that needed composure, and he had plenty of it. And that's just clever. He made the keeper think he was going one way, only to outfox him by going the other. Very nice. Brazil at the equaliser, and we're all square. Well, I think this is a case of anything you can do, we can do too. I mean, they're matching each other like for like here. It's wrestled off the ball. And it's played forward. He gets past it, hits one! And the follow-up! It's all about how they handle this from here. Edging ahead again in the second half is best followed up with a, a bold mindset, a bold approach. The skipper set the example. It's up to his teammates now to follow. Ederson did well the first time. Nothing he could do about the follow-up. Well, look, regardless of whether the keeper... Could... Well, that's a foul. Free kick's been given. Now it's Neymar. He wasn't very far from making some... Oh, he certainly caught him there, it's a free kick. Well, the referee has made it pretty clear now that this is his last chance. Tries to get it forward quickly. What a sensational save from Anderson! Oh, what a wonderful stop! Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra-sharp. Marquinhos tries to clear. Take back in. Turns and goes back. Big chance! He's looked long this time. Chooses to go back. Goes for goal! He's put his foot right through that one. A 
Oh, terrible mistake. Going through. Face to face. Has a pop. And it's looking safe. Algeria are looking strong on the break. Winning the ball in midfield is one thing, but it's their clever use of counter attacking. That's the real highlight. Algeria take a two goal lead and are looking good for the win. Listen, it's up to them now how they think about it from here because for me, it's crying out for them to force the issue. More than happy to take the muscular approach. Has a goal! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. Gets up to head it! He's missed, but... Uh, that's a little unfortunate. He had a lot of people worried there. Alexandro. Coutinho. Firmino. And here's Douglas Costa. Forward tracking back like that, always appreciated by the crowd. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of them. Um, and the shot! Oh, surely that deserved better. Well, there are a few pockets of space that are being exploited, and they need filling, and fast. Thiago Silva. over the line uh, needed a better pass there Douglas Costa and it's William Douglas Costa and he has been fouled there So he's plotting something before playing it in. Danny Alves. Coutinho. Fired deep towards the back post. Away from immediate danger. And now the breakaway. He's got away. Can he deliver? He's in, surely. Defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Gets away from his opponents. Great lead! And more, and more, and more! And the lead is extended still further. Just so calm under pressure. Oh, this fella's as slippery as a kneel the way he freed himself to score. I mean, for that defence, it was a case of, now you've got him, now you don't. Brilliant. So now the difference is three. And back to the keeper. Forward it goes. Goes long. Nice little chip. He's in space and looking for options. Fernandinho hoists it forward. And it's Douglas Costa. And it's been taken straight back. And it's dealt with by the outrushing keeper. William. Forward it goes. And that is it. The referee has seen enough. Brazil had their life made a little tougher.
Brazil, of course, taking to the field for the first time in this edition. No doubt looking for a performance to set a tone. There's his great vocal support. And every one of those supporters willing them to give everything back for the cause. It is beautifully set here. The Stadio José Alvalade, of course, a venue fit for a capital city, located here, pretty close to Lisbon's international airport. Day one, and everybody eager to get off to a good start. Well, Peter, I can tell you that both managers will have stressed the need for a very strong start here. Both have also indicated a, a front-foot approach. If that is the case, then I don't think we're going to be complaining at the end. I certainly hope we'll be eulogising. There's an awful lot resting on this, and we'll probably end up reflecting on that. And already we're underway here. Jim, who do you reckon is pivotal? Yeah, I think we can expect to see more than a few moments of individual brilliance with Neymar on the pitch, Peter. He's got such a silky touch, he can ghost past defenders, and he can pass and shoot with the very best. If you're looking for someone to take your breath away, this is the guy for me. I have to disagree with that. It is the sort of situation he thrives in. Forward it goes. And now they can launch a counter. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what are they trying to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Played out to the right. Plenty waiting in the middle. Gorgeous control there. Thiago Silva is there to heave it away. Struck first time. Oh, good effort. He got plenty on that. Oh, that's a great effort. There was very little back there to indicate what was coming. Douglas Costa. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Douglas Costa. A chance to play it in. It's a brilliant interception. Has he found his man? Fernandinho. There's a long ball. Douglas Costa. Now the breakaway. Balls out on the left now. And that's left him on the seat of his pants. He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. William. William goes steaming forward. Cuts it out. That's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. Firmino. Right towards the front then. Marquinhos gets it back. Good determined running there, but one back by the defence. Oh, look, his determination needed to be greater than the obstacle he was faced with, and it wasn't. And it's played forward. Philippe Coutinho uh, needed a better pass there. Algeria being made to look sloppy in possession here. Philippe Coutinho. Firmino. Hit long and direct. Now that does look a foul. Referee's given a free kick. Well, he can't say now that he hasn't been warned. Well, I think the referee 
would have told him to rein it in or, or suffer the consequences. Play for a throw. Uh, it's a poor throw that, picked off with relative ease. Daniel Alves. And that's been won straight back. And it's Neymar. Douglas Costa. Neymar. And here's a corner. Douglas Costa goes short. Oh, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Well, you could see he was eager to get a shot away, but there was too much flesh and bone in his path. Douglas Costa with the short one. And that has been clubbed away. So he's had a look, and he's played his whistle for half-time. Okay, both sides have drawn blanks, and have toiled it by any means. I want to review the first half. Well, this has proved a very frustrating game. Brazil have a free kick. <laughs> Thiago Silva. Fernandinho. Just brushed off the ball there. Alexandro, lovely feet. He's gone for it! Steered forward. Breaks on here. Yeah, he was under pressure to get that exactly right, and he couldn't even think of the consequences. It was instinctive and rock solid. Alexandro. Hoists it forward. It's a loose ball. Alexandro looking to get on the end of this. A reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. Has a pop! And out to safety. And it's Douglas Costa. Who's ball? Who's going to get there? Fernandinho. Fernandinho! Oh, denied brilliantly! Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. And here's Roberto Firmin, shoots! Tries to get it clear. Firmino really was well-marshalled there because he was denied the opportunity to, to turn. Fernandinho goes looking. Neymar is flagged offside. Ah, oh, now some movement on the bench, and we are going to see a change. Gets it upfield. Fernandinho plays it forward. Oh, that's clearly not what he wanted to do. Coutinho tried to play it through. Yeah, the idea was right. The delivery wasn't. They can revisit that further on. There will be a throw in. And here's William. And the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Tries to get it forward quickly. Oh, that's not going to make it. And it's played forward. Well, that's where he wants it. Alexandro. And he's there to cut it out. That's 
good distance on it. Up for a throw. Checks on the touchline, a change about to occur. It's being played forward. Hoists it forward. Yeah, it's been into... That's clear cut, it's a free kick. from immediate danger. And here's Oscar. A nice touch. Neymar. Oscar. Lovely bit of skill there. Big chance! Fernandinho. Appearance and very necessary. Gabriel Jesus. Referee has just said play on. It's Gabriel Jesus! Oh, that's a fine save! Gabriel Jesus simply didn't do anything wrong. He was thwarted by brilliance. And it's been taken short. Beautifully done. He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. And here's Neymar. Oh, that's a fine challenge. No messing about, just bludgeoned the way. And it's Fernandinho. That's good progress he's made on the ball. Well, it goes for goal! Oh, he's managed to get it all wrong. It's easy to say it, but difficult to stop it when runs in behind her are being made like that. You wonder if that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity. And they've been caught out here. Marquinhos. Marquinhos plays it forward. There's only one word for this, it, it's baffling. That team needs to figure out where the ball needs to be, and it's not there. It really is now or never. They need a goal however it comes. And he's certainly caught him there, it's a free kick. He's given it away. Just to keep Gabriel Jesus! And he's there to make a great save. Well, as Tesco Peter, the keeper, has just received an A plus grade. Oscar plays it short. Malcolm. And here's Oscar. Real chance! That is just remarkable, the amount of bend he got on that. Yeah, and it's not a surprise to see him elect to shoot from there, considering how much movement can be generated on the ball. Great hit. Brazil, and that's it. Well, that's the way to launch the campaign. Now they can look ahead with confidence and comfort.
So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Well, pressure can quickly build on you. Hello and welcome all to what I'm sure is going to be an unmissable game. Here's the key information. We have a side looking to make it into the exclusive knockout stage of the competition. A victory does it, but anything less than that could lead to all sorts of complications. Everybody is ready to go once we have the formalities out of the way. Unmistakably, this is the Camp Nou, staging a game in the way only the Camp Nou can. Everybody standing for the national anthem of the Netherlands. impressive match that It's a terrific sight here, and it goes to underline just how far this game could go towards shaping the fortunes of the team. Well, Peter, the, the question that comes to mind is how much do they want it? These players know that this could be the gateway for, for bigger things. Progression for starters brings greater financial reward, it increases the brand power, and can enhance the whole business side of things. Individual player profile elevation is also a huge incentive. Careers can be catapulted from this. It's worth remembering. If you're just joining us, we are already on the way. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Yeah, Ederson. He's got great technique, Peter, and for a goalkeeper, he's got the passing range of a top-class midfielder. I think his, his team will be looking to use him as a, a foundation from which to build both sustained spells of possession as well as quick counter-attacks. He's got a phenomenal left foot. Yes, they'll certainly be leaning heavily on him. Neymar provides an outlet. I think that's offside. Yes, it is. Questions were asked. But he's given the answers. Played down the flank. Lobs it in gently. It's a goal kick. Daniel Alves. Well, that had to be more accurate. Marquinhos, Marquinhos with a searching ball.
Berghaus. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? Ball through needs to be good here. Van der Beek. Van der Beek's cross. Danny Alves is there to heave it away. The Netherlands seem happy to let their strikers roam out wide. I wouldn't want that. No? No, well, my worry is that their, their main threat is being shifted out of contention. Hit long and direct. That's a throw. Marquinhos. Alexandro. A reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. And it's Oscar. He gets past his man. Tries to dink it in. Well positioned to make that interception. William. Done very well to intervene. Coutinho Back to the keeper and try something new. Sillison sends that a long way. And it's Memphis to Pie. Memphis to Pie plays it out to the flank. Berghaus battles to win it back. Intercepts the throw. That's well read. Oh, he's caught him there. It's a free kick. Thiago Silva. Blint. Victory now would mean so much. Face to face. He's gone for it. Goal! The Netherlands. And it's the Netherlands who take the lead. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front, and they really commit forward in numbers too. That was all very well drilled. Big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. Well, look, you've got to start your qualification process at some stage, Peter, and, and that goal is takeoff for them. Alexandro. And it's played forward. Going through. Neymar. Crowd calling for him. To... And the shot! And he's found the net! Brazil are back in business! And that really is so, so impressive. That's always a great sight, you know, on a football pitch. Nimble footage, show great balance and a really cool head to finish. And that kind of dribbling is really smart. That has added a whole new complexion to the game. Oh, I think the coach will really be annoyed with that. The players were still thinking about their goal and just got caught napping. He goes long. Uh, the ball needed to be better there. It's a wasted chance. Hoists it forward. Good ball. He's got the ball. He's got the space. Over to the left. Ake hits one. Oh, that probably deserved better. No, that was a slick move, and there were several options in the box to, uh, to pick out. Daniel Alves. In with the challenge. Danny Alves has got himself a free kick. Well, he can't say now that he hasn't been warned. He just needs to find the control button on his aggression before the ref does it for him, Peter. And 
And it's half time here. What it has been an even contest, as the scoreline suggests, and it has been more than decent to watch. See the views on the first half. Look, this match promised goals, and it certainly hasn't let us down. It's been really, really entertaining. It's a really interesting game, and they head in at half time at 1 1. And they're already back underway here. No changes at the interval from either side. Van der Beek. That'll be a throw in. More than happy to take the muscular approach. Berghaus. Philippe Coutinho. Blint goes looking. Good pass. Gabriel Jesus tries lifting it over. Gets away from his opponent. Neymar. Danger averted for now. How about a shot? Gabriel Jesus. Ake gets good distance on it. Gabriel Jesus really got caught in a trap there and he just couldn't get out. Wijnaldum plays it forward, out to the right. Oh, it's opened up nicely for him. Oh, good. Shapes to shoot! He's done very well to get to that. The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. Chooses to go back. He's had a goal! Same again, same outcome. They're just lacking the cutting edge, Peter. And while that's fairly obvious, the rest of their attacking play is actually quite good. Header! No, he didn't quite meet it right. Now it's Neymar. Look at the defender bombing forward. Neymar. Good idea, just poorly executed. And they can counter here. Van Dijk. Ake. And it's Wijnaldum. Plays it out to the wing. Dani Alves cuts it out. Gabriel Jesus gets it out to the wing. Ake goes back to base. Vinaldum. Oscar. Tings it out wide. Into the channel. He's got options out wide. Deflected behind for a corner kick.
Brazil can make their change now with uh, a break in play. Now it's Wijnaldum. He's making good use of his strength there. Just refuses to be out-muscled. He could be in here. Promise. Played out to the right. That's a throw. Daniel Alves tries to get it forward quickly. Malcolm. Brazil showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. William. William goes through the middle. Malcolm. Forward it goes. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. That's a good block, but at the expense of a corner. Blint with the short one. Wijnaldum pumps it into the area. Big chance! All the balls come loose. And it's Blint. The Netherlands merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. A game with so much to recommend it. Fabulous contest, but still no clear winner. It's a very open game and an exciting watch. There are no signs of nerves or, or caginess from either team. This pitch is go-for-it territory right now. Arthur, little doubt, that is a foul. Mint with the clearance. So throw in. Oh, that's neat. Alexandro. It is now or never. Time is again. Goes for goal! And the ball's come out. Ford shows there will be three extra minutes. Oh, he's broken through. Plays it out to the flank. Berghaus plays a clever pass. Alexandro drives it forward, and here's the chance to counter. And the referee brings it to a close. Passion and panache and perseverance, and in the end, parity. A really good game to watch. If you look back on the
They can more or less feel it now, avoid defeat here, and they will take that eagerly awaited place in the knockout stage. The odds overwhelmingly in their favour. Everybody is expectant here, the crowd is up, they think the job is just about done. Indeed, in fact, it is. One more point does it, just one. It is terrific to be here in the foothills of the Alps at this most notable of modern stadia, the home of Juventus. Brazil looking to finish the job here and to do so with appropriate style, Jim. To be perfectly honest, Peter, it would be a big surprise for them to slip up at this stage and not qualify now. Thinking about a point is potentially much more problematical than going after three. We've seen many a team do that, and before you know it, they're getting it wrong. And that's clear-cut, it's a free kick. Salas. Nortweit plays it forward. Salnas. What a throw in. Just brushed off the ball there. Oh, defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Hoists it forward. Alexandro. And it's played forward. Gets away from his opponent. Trout calling for him to shoot. Neymar. Real chance! Well, it's pretty damning on the part of that defence, Peter, that he was allowed so much time and space. But I think you have to give credit where it's due. And it was a brilliant setup and finish. Brazil have made their breakthrough, so can they build on it? Well, look, you've got to start your qualification process at some stage, Peter, and, and that goal is takeoff for them. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to go, and he didn't go for the back here. Hulk goes looking. He's through, now is he in? Striding forward, facing goal. Go! There it is! Looks offside, I think. Yep, the flag is up. Well, obviously, some sections of the crowd would disagree, but that was the right decision, albeit a late one. A moment's uncertainty there, but it is the right call. Gets it upfield. Well positioned to make that interception. Forward it goes. And no, that is pretty much the end of that. Coutinho, Coutinho goes pulsing down that left-hand side. And here comes the corner. Neymar goes short. No messing about, just bludgeoned away. Well, as Tesco, Peter, the keeper has just received an A-plus grade. 
Trying to get there. Gabriel Jesus. Alexandro. And the assistant referee rightly gives him offside. He's made sure that that won't get through. Linus tries to get it forward quickly. Massive lead! This could fall anywhere. In he goes again. That's a half-decent try. That's a little unfortunate. He had a lot of people worried then. Decent progress down the left. And it's Coutinho. He's left his man. Coutinho. And he's straight offside. Keeper's got good distance on that. Played out to the right. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? That's a throw. Big chance! And out to safety. Balls out, it'll be a throw in again. Uh, it's a poor throw that, picked off with relative ease. Brazil have it back and they can go again. And that's been one straight back. And that'll be the final action of the first half. So there you have it, a close sport half of football, but it still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A decent game up to now. Well, you obviously have to give credit to the front men for the half-time lead, but I think the midfield can really pat themselves on the back too. They worked tirelessly for me. Brazil going to have the lead in a tight old game. Half-time, 1-0. We're probably into the second 45 minutes. Brazil just about have their noses in front. Arthur. Daniel Alves. Keeps everyone guessing. Forward it goes. Linus. And the through ball is intercepted. Thiago Silva. Alexandro. Brazil get it back again. Neymar needed to come up with a better ball. Ah, oh, that just required a bit more oomph to reach its target. Got a sight of goal here. Well, that's a foul. Free kick's been given. And that certainly wasn't one of his best. Tries to get it clear. And the whistle's gone, presumably for offside.
Brazil are still that goal to the good. And here's Hulk. And here's Danny Alves. Danny Alves. Gabriel has a pop! It's in! And with that goal comes comfort. That was easy, almost too easy. And that's what the game was all about. Find space and finish, but we have to credit the pass to, to kick him out. So that's two now without reply. The turning of the screw comes to mind, Peter. They've got them where they want them. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Arthur. He's had a shot! Very speculative with little threat, if any, for the keeper. And it's played forward. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Gets the power of his man. He's gone for it! Got to say, the odds on him missing from there were very soon. Yeah, it looks simple, Peter, but it requires intelligent use of space and, and good understanding to pull it off. Some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's got to be a change. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. Brazil take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. No doubt as to who has the momentum here now. The only doubt is how many is coming. That's a throw. But there's going to be another change here. That's not going to make it. This defence is, is weary about opposition pace. So they're just not getting too tight. Yeah, they know that King has been caught there, it's a foul. And it's kicked close to goal! Oscar. Northwight positions himself well and cuts it out. Into the channel. Cut out in the nick of time. Another chance from a corner. Did well the first time, nothing he could do about the follow-up. Our oh, players like this fella almost have a sixth sense to get themselves in such great poaching positions. How quick-minded was that? So is this the start of a comeback? Neymar. Hoists it forward, it's a promising ball. For a moment you felt that was going somewhere, but they'll have to go again. He's put it on 
the right now. What's on? Chance! And the ball is out of play. He's got the ball, he's got the space. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Good idea, just poorly executed. Pumps it into the area. It's gone in, he's put through his own net! Well, that wasn't in the script, and you have to feel for him, Peter. It's ended in uh, some embarrassment. Norway, got some help from Lady Luck there. They all count. Ball has crossed the line, and it's a throw. And here's Danny Alves. And it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. It's Gabriel Jesus! He's going after it. <laughs> Tries a shot! Oh, fine stop from the keeper. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. And it's been taken short. Oh, some tackle up. Can he deliver? Beautifully done. And it's Danny Alves. Tries to get it forward quickly. And that is it. The referee has seen it up. Brazil have done it. They have made the knockout stage. Well, that is a great effort. Another win, seven points from nine, unbeaten, and on they march. Thoughts on what we've just seen? Well, not as smooth as they would have preferred, but they're through, and that's the bit that matters most.
Brazil face up here to their last 16 opponents, having successfully navigated a route through the group stages. Now, what follows is a couple of hours of tense excitement, anxiety. This will really examine their nerve. It is where the stakes become so much higher. These are just the kind of games by which we remember these great tournaments. Quite a picture here inside Ibrox, nor would you expect anything else. Well, there's a perceptible change in mindset here, both in terms of crowd and players. Well, Peter, knockout competitions require knockout mindsets. There has to be a more dynamic edge to the whole approach, whether from going ahead or replying to going behind. This is when the adventure kicks in, and you have to be mentally prepared for a more intense pressure. As you can see, we've already started here. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? Yeah, Edison. He's got great technique, Peter, and for a goalkeeper, he's got the passing range of a top-class midfielder. I think his, his team will be looking to use him as a, a foundation from which to build both sustained spells of possession as well as quick counter-attacks. He's got a phenomenal left foot. Yeah, I'd have picked him to no doubt the fans feel much the same way. He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. He's had a shot! It's surely this time! What a wonderful goal! It's hardly a surprise, is it? That's what we're here for, a player with this wonderful knack of being able to show up and deliver at important times. Yet, yet another example. Edison did well the first time, nothing he could do about the follow-up. That's just top-notch, showed exactly why he follows it up every time. Keeper struggles to hold on to it, ball breaks kindly, he's always about. Big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. I think they've gone about their business with the opener very much in mind, and this augurs well now. That is terrific skill. Alexandro. Bellotti. And now the breakaway. Italy have made it clear what they're trying to do for me, Peter. What are they trying to do? Well, I think they're making the pitch as big as possible to work both flanks into, into better supply routes. Chiesa. Chiesa plays it in. He's there to get rid. Finds himself eased off the ball. Firmino absolutely focused then on the defensive side of his game. You have to admire commitment like that because he could easily ignore that and just kind of walk around and let others do all the chasing. But instead, he looks as if he relishes the chance to, uh, to dig in for his team here. Now it's Neymar. He's left his man. Coutinho gets the better of his man. Swept in. And he heaves it forward. And here's the chance to counter. He's through the middle. Bellotti gets away from his opponents. Bellotti! No mistake! And they're at it again in double quick time. Bellotti versus the keeper and only one winner. Yeah, he just calmly faced the keeper and waited. It became a, a who blinks first situation. And for me, there was never any doubt as to who was going to come out on top. Italy get themselves a two-goal cushion. The turning of the screw comes to mind, Peter. They've got them where they want them. And it's Alexandro. Good challenge, he just... And Firmino! Decent strike, kept it fizzing low. Chiesa. Saniolo. Saniolo spreads it towards the left. Acerbi. Marco Verratti. Spinazzola, and here's Insigne. Good take 
by the keeper, he's read that well. Here come Brazil on the counter. Uh, ball needed to be better there, that's a wasted chance. And that is as far as they're going to go. And the shot! Decent looking ball. Shapes to shoot! They are rampant! And they are cruising away. Ederson reacted well to the initial effort, but couldn't get it right out of the danger area. I might sound a little harsh here, but the keeper, I felt, could have done a better job in ensuring that ball didn't go back out into the danger area. Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. Coutinho cuts a frustrated figure right now. He just cannot get away. Ah, he needs a minder, and one of his teammates should be picking up on that, and quickly. Hoists it forward. William. And it's Firmino. Marco Verratti. Verratti. He's picked him out. Now it's Insigne. He gets past his man. What a... He's gone for it! And he should have made it for Italy. We are then presented with an opportunity to break and look very, very threatening. Verratti plays it short. Bellotti with the delivery. Good effort. And it is right on half-time. Well, there's plenty that can be said about the last 45 minutes. But one thing that cannot be said is that it's dull. One-sided, yes, but packed with excitement. We are already promptly back on the way. Brazil can show their manager and their fans how much grit and spirit is actually in this team. The right characters can rescue a situation like this. I think we're about to discover if they're present. Well, they can break here. He's on his way. Tries a shot! That is a class save. He had to be at his best. Italy know they can rely on the counter, and they've just expressed a warning. And he's there to cut it out. Alexandro plays it forward. Hoists it high. Chiesa cuts it back. Fernandinho. Firmino, Coutinho plays it out to the wing. It's a good run down the left-hand side. Going through. Fir Firmino hits it! Lacking in accuracy. Firmino reacted so well to bring that ball under control. Looked easy to. Firmino and here's William William tries to get it clear Douglas Costa Douglas Costa and it's hoisted clear Is that a foul? yes the uh, referee's given it Keeper sends it forward. Forward it goes. Out to the left it goes. Back into the... He's had a goal! Oh, that is rather wayward. Well, he did get himself into a good position. Something for him to cling to. Alexandro.
Coutinho gets it back. Chiellini goes looking. Spinazzola receives it from behind. Insigne beats the offside trap. Has a pop! They've scored! It is no contest. It is a landslide. Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Things looking so easy, almost too easy here. Defending was strong and firm. Bellotti, can he find a finish now? Marquinhos did well to emerge with the ball. That's a contest to keep an eye on. And the through ball is intercepted. In the keeper, Italy just served up a reminder of how good they can be on the break. Their method is clear. Bellotti goes for the cross, driving on. He could shoot here. Now it's Roberto Firmino. Firmino looks to dink one in. That has put a stop to that. And the weighted pass. To plant a goal. Bellotti showed plenty of zest in getting to the ball, but couldn't quite sort it out. Zaniolo. That's a promising ball. He's there to... It's Bellotti! It's anyone's ball. And he just whacks it away. A dangerous area. Time for a change in personnel. Insignia! It's broken loose! Oh, he's caught him there, it's a free kick. Daniel Alves. Good running with the ball. Can they build on it? It's a brilliant interception. Bellotti already with two goals under his belt. Bernadeschi drives it forward. And they're not going to make any further progress now. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Chiellini plays it forward quickly. Cleared out wide, but he won't reach that one. And no, that is pretty much the end of that. And play for a throw. Not a good throw at all, really. He's given away possession cheaply. And it's Pelotti. Bernadeschi. Polk. And the counter is on. Well, no question as to who's winning the battle in midfield at the moment. Some very impressive pressing in place here. Insigne. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Oh, he's in! Oh, 
shooting chance. In it goes. A contest no more. It is nothing short of utter humiliation. It's part of the game, Peter. It has to get ruthless. Sympathy just doesn't play a part. It's become a case of men against boys. Now it's Falk. Brazil could have here their final chance. Hook moves short. Firmino. It's found its way to him. And the finish! Neymar with the short one. Firmino, Firmino hits it! Oh, terrific save. They've played it short. Referee has just said play on. Neymar. Bernadeschi gets good distance on it. Zaniolo. He's found his man. Now it's Berati. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. Casemiro. Across the field it goes. Chiellini. A Serbi. Meret sends that a long way. That'll be a throw. Not going to go down too well with his teammates. He's got away. Just the goalkeeper to beat. Big chance. Back of the net. And again, they pile on the misery. Well, I think we've gone past humiliation now. This could be doing some real psychological damage. He's made it three. Quite a day at the office for him. Oh, this has been an immense contribution from one player. He's been just about unplayable. The irresistible force today. Well, unsurprisingly, Pete. That's it. They are out. And that is the danger of knockout football. No second chances. It is over. If you look back on the game then, Jim. And a premature exit from their viewpoint, though there are positives to be taken. It's both sad and, and satisfying. <laughs>